Hello folks, welcome back. Um, different view today, it's a nice sunny day uh, here in Staffordshire. I've just been speaking to Michael Waller a little bit on, on YouTube, said hello to him. He dropped by on one of the latest videos. Um, as I mentioned in those last couple of videos, we're going to be start looking at a, uh, a BSA engine project. And I've been gathering some stuff. I've been sort of scouring eBay, Craigslist, jumbles, hedge bottoms, ditches and things like that. Trying to find a few BSA parts. Um, so I've got a bit of a mishmash in front of me. Um, very rough bits uh, that normally probably considered scrap. Um, and we're going to try a hand at a time inside roll the conversion and the end feed on the crankshaft. I'll just zoom you in on some of these bits and we'll go through what we've got and what we've got to do to get there. So here's the collection so far. Um, we've got some very rough crankcases, um, very grotty things, worn bushes, um, I suspect anyway. That side actually isn't too bad. These are actually CA7 cases. That's very grotty as well. The time inside case still with its bush in. Um, it's had a blow up in the past. If we can see that, we've lost that rib that goes across there and there's a lot of batter marks around the inside of the cases so uh, there's a bit of welding to do old Popeye's pipe there is all bent up um, very poor condition big gouges in them there's a punch hole through on one side somewhere so we'll strip these down to, to nothing get the bushes out um, where applicable and uh, do some welding and things where applicable uh, get them blasted up and cleaned up just so it looks a little bit tidy it's a bit easier to work with we'll get that main bearing bush out and uh, we'll do the conversion on this um, combination of probably following that one that uh, I worked on earlier and uh, some of the things on uh, the late BSA Bill's um, website I'll put a link to that one uh, but I'm sure any BSA people already know of that anyway. Um, and a bit of sort of uh, own thoughts as well. Uh, we've got a rough old crank here. Um, I don't know whether we'll have to be turn that journal down or grind it. But we'll get it down to size somehow. Um, the, the end I won't worry too much about at this stage, we'll just try and get the basics of uh, sort of conversion done. Uh, we've got a, some timing gears, um, oil pump drive, crank gear um, and a seized up oil pump as usual. Um, so we'll be taking a look at that, see if we can get that to that going and probably even try and measure the uh, the output pressure on it if that's possible um, no promises we'll see what we can do uh, what else have we got? We've got a camshaft ready we've got a pair of small bearing there's a small bearing crank small bearing con rods um, one with a big end cap missing so that's another little side project I'll we'll clean them up and we'll get a, a second hand cap and uh, I'll take you through uh, reworking the cap so you can make a complete con rod out of, uh, out of bits which is uh, in some people's books a complete no-no but I've done it before um, you know, setting up probably on the Galapena home to home the, uh, the, the big end eye there a uh, pair of cases, out of cases, time and cover um, for modification that's actually probably the best one of the uh, of the lot that come off eBay, I think it was actually Dragonfly that come from. Um, a bit of a rough inner timing case, 
there's some gouges and, and worn bits on the bushes there that just drop in so we'll see what we can do with some cracks in the well cracks that won't weld in up and that um, and that's about it all good good sort of stuff for uh, this type of conversion so if you if you hate to see uh, what you consider usable parts being destroyed by an amateur machinist uh, close your eyes now because we're going to have a go at uh, seeing what we can do so uh, we'll crack on and uh, get the cases cleaned up first I think see you in a bit I'll we'll start to clean these cases I'll just whip these studs out just so it sits flat just any uh, it's been battered, no, you can't get a nut on that one. All that, I'll just tap that out with some grips or something. I'll get this uh, this dy old dynamo strap off here as well. And the uh, Popeye's pipe looks a bit worse for wear. That's a few bits stripped off that we uh, we don't need at this stage. I'll get this warmed up and we'll get that main bush out of the way. We'll do it with the torch this time. Last time I did the uh, it's on the electric. Um, this is a bit quicker. Quite a rock quicker actually. I just put this the Mickey light sort of board stuff down around here to uh, put up the workbench. I oh, just warm until uh, it just sizzles your spit if you haven't got anything fancier than that. And that's why I like to take the studs out. And that's our bush out. I mean, I could have pressed it out cold because it's uh, not going to be... Uh, we're not going to be worrying about the ball that's on it. And while it's warm, I'm just going to try and get this dowel out of here. Because that's where we're going to go, most likely, for our end feed crank. That is hot. Beautiful. And also while it's warm, let's grab another go at this uh, old dynamo strap. If we can't get it out, it stays, it doesn't matter. <coughs> nope. No, no, not too worried about that. We're not restoring it, we'll leave it in. Okay, that can cool down now. That warming it up as uh, oh, Popeye's pipe warms him, don't we? Want him out. So warming it up has uh, dried it out as well, ready for blasting, so it's nice and uh, nice and sort of mm, the bead isn't going to stick to it 
the grit isn't going to stick to it. I'll work on getting this one out and then uh, we'll come back when we're uh, we're ready for the next bit. I think what I might do actually is dress that up as well, that damage there. I'm not going to try and put it back in, we'll just leave it out for this case and uh, we'll probably do a bit of a, a bit of welding here and there where there's a few a few broken lumps. Uh, that's a common one you see on these engines. So uh, back in a little while again. Those of you who follow me will know that a few years back I bought a new uh, Prox and grinder. Um, I thought it'd be the uh, the best thing since sliced bread. Unfortunately, it didn't last very long. So I've moved on to one of these uh, flex shaft grinders with a separate hand piece and a flexible shaft. Um, these are sort of semi-industrial used for jewels and things like that so I've used this for quite a bit now and it's uh, so far so good now this I'm going to use to grind away that bad bit on the inside of the cases okay we're going to tack this off with uh, with this uh, flex shaft grinder um, I won't film this I'll just show you the after results because I don't want to get to uh, bits flying up towards the camera but that's the general idea it's fastened down to the bench with a, a bit of a thick washer and screw just to hold it still and I'll just grind away at this in a moment that's it dressed up as far as I need to really go it's uh, not too bad I've just sort of took that down a bit and smoothed it off um, I've reformed Reform the oil, the cup there for that bush feed at the back. Although it has got the one the other side as well from the timing case side, um, and I've dressed up some of these bits in here that were all scuffed up. So all we're left with on this, there's a couple of bits of bits of weld to do there where I think the looks like the um, conrod bolts have punched through it's obviously let go on a conrod um, and there's a little bit of welding to do possibly there if I want to be bothered um, I'll just remelt that just to make sure that there getting shot that there just to make sure that's okay and there's another little bit somewhere there there it is, another little bit on there, just to build up and then re-tap. Um, and then we'll get them in the uh, in the blasting cabinet and see what we can do with that. So, if I just zoom out a little bit, get my belly in the shot. There we go, that's it so far. Um, I'm packing up now, I'm going in, going to have a bath and something to drink. And uh, I shall see you again in the morning, which may or may not be your morning. So, bye for now.